Welcome back to my channel. I can't say it in my last video for my book wrap up. Or, well, not wrap up yet, but for my book haul. I cannot talk today. It's been a little while. Been a little busy. Next month is going to be busy too. Hopefully I can squeeze everything into May. Fingers crossed that I can. I don't know yet, but... We will see exactly how it's going to go down. Anyway, without further ado, I am going to talk about my first half of May's TBR. There's quite a few things I want to read, and there's a read-along going on Twitter called the, or not the, just called the Sailor... Hold on. The Sailor Moon read-along. So, I'm doing that. And I have a team that I am on. And I think we can do this. I think we can win, you guys. We got this. And... Oh, my thing went away. Hold on. So I can pull up my team's name that I'm on. And if you're one of my teammates and you're watching this, hi guys, I am on a Team Mercury, I think I said that correctly. If I did not, please let me know down in the comments, I am trying my best, but like I said, I think we got this, for sure. Okay. Now, like I said, without further ado, I am going to go ahead and jump right on to, right on to, <laughs> right into this TBR, TBR that I have. I did say I'm all over tonight, so just bear with me. Alright, for our group book that we're going to read, I'm spitting all over stuff, gross, is Warcross by Mary Lou. I haven't read this book yet but I did hear a lot of hype around it and I know it's kind of like Ready Player One in a way but with a different twist I'm hoping to like this better than Ready Player One because I got halfway through that one and DNF'd it because I feel bad but I liked the movie the book just wasn't for me <laughs> and that's some cases but I'm hoping to really like this one, and this is the first one we're going to pick up. But I do have my set of choices. I'm hoping to get through all of these. There's a lot of them, but I can pick up half of them on audiobook and read along with it faster. For me, it's faster. I don't know if it's like that for everybody else. But for me, it is. And we're going to give it a go. Alright, so let me try to see if I can't read the prompt that we have. Oops, it's for the book. Everything else is all over the place. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. I've been saying that a lot. Okay, for the Sailor Moon, reread one of your favorite books. Now, for me, I have a little paper bookmark in there. The book I want to reread is Never Night by Jake Kristoff because A, I'm trash for this book, and B, just I've missed Mia and Mr. Kindly so much, and Dark Dawn is coming out this year, so, you know, a perfect time for a reread for one of my favorite assassins. Sign me the heck up. Alright, so Miss Mia, you're going back to your little corner. And also by my Nevernight books, I have the 
little skull and the little crow next to him just because it's a nice little touch. I had to throw that in there. Because I'm weird like that. Anyway, the next challenge is read a book that challenges you. And for that one, oh, if I can get it without everything falling, don't hurt me. <laughs> oh. Okay, the one that I'm gonna go with is The Ruin of the Keen because just it's dragons and it's gorgeous. Okay, and I hear it's really good, so I'm not gonna go into full details on all these books, just know that I'm really excited to get to them next month, including this one, and yes. Moving on, the next challenge is read a book with a character that has special abilities. This one I'm excited for because I got halfway into it last year and I never picked it back up and I need to because the sequel is coming out next month and it's my birthday month. So this read along is actually kind of perfect. Anyway, the one for the abilities is lifelike. And by and it's also of course by Jake Kristoff. He's one of my favorite authors. If you don't already know, now you do. Anyway, the girl in this book has a special ability. And I just can't wait. I need to get a move on with this one. Alright, and then the other prompt is read a romance novel. Now this one I'm going to use for two of the prompts because this is, it has a little bit of romance in it from what I've heard and it is also, oh, does it not have it on there? Okay, yeah, I'm just going to use this for the one prompt. It's just read a romance novel and when Dimple met Rishi. And I've had it on my shelves forever. Well, since it kind of came out forever. So I'm going to give this one a try. And I think I can find this one on audio as well. So, yay, audio month. Some I'm going to be reading physical, others... I can get by quicker, like I said, with audio, if it has it. And then there's another challenge, read a novella, and the novella I found is to shatter me, but it is unite me. This is the little small novella, novella that I believe I can just fly through, so, yeah. Ooh, there's this one. And the next prompt. Read a book that includes the element of fire in any way. Well, with that, I have After the Fire by Will Hill. The only way out of the darkness is to destroy it. Now, this one sounds really good. It's like a thriller, and I don't read a whole lot of them. I like them, I just never found a lot of them to get into, but this looks amazing, and I'm excited. I'm excited about all of these books, actually. Uh, Alright, the other one I have is read a book. 400 pages or more. This one, I read a little bit of last year. I only got like partway through it, so I can finish the rest of it. I only got up to 95 and then set it down. But I really need to get a move on in Malice, and it sounds so really good. And I have the whole series. I just really need a binge read, so I can't think of a perfect time to pick it up the next month, and it is a thick beast. So, this one is going to definitely be one of my main priorities to get done next month. And I think I can do it. She says, I think I can, think I can. 
Okay, moving on. Okay, read a standalone book. Now for that one, I am gonna go with Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. I've had this book on my shelf for a long time and I just read her book, Baby, this year, so, and it's really short, so it's a standalone. I'm adding it. I am finally going to read it because it sounded really good when I got it. It's time. <laughs> and my iPod went dim. I hate when they go dim. All right. The other one is read a, oh, okay. So that one was on there. The one that I'm going to read for twice, for two prompts is read a commentary <laughs> novel you guys know what i'm trying to say but i'm gonna read this for that and for the romance because it's both of those things so two and one we got it all right and then we're supposed to read a book with a gorgeous cover on it and that is a discovery of witches i think it's kind of pretty like look at how it shines and plus, it's now a TV show, and one of my favorite actresses that I like is in this show. Um, I need to read it very, very soon. Alright, and then there's a read a dystopian novel. Now, I have two of these. I have The Handmaid's Tale and A Morning Star by Pierce Brown. I believe I can get through both of these. This one I have on audio and then this one I can just fl fly through because it's short and yeah. So there you guys have it. Those are my 14-ish books that I'm hoping to get through for next month. Sorry if it, it was all over the place. We'll get there again. Anyway, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss further videos from me, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it, which I hope you all do. Uh, it's been a while, and it's been a long day. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next one, and... I'm also, ooh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Bad book. Okay. I'm also going to hopefully try to do a little recording of me reading, re reading War Cross, if I can. So, there is that that I want to throw in there. But anyway, that is all I have for this May Sailor Moon read along TBR video, and I will be back with my regular May TBR video. A few of these books are in that TBR, so it works. <laughs> so that's all I got for today's video. So I will see you next time in my new one. Bye, guys.